Hey there and welcome to Travel TV on independent.ie. I'm Paul O'Connell with your weekly travel fix and today we're looking at what makes a great place to stay. What truly sets a hotel or guest house apart? What wins it awards? or simply a place in your heart. Now I spoke to three of Ireland's most respected hospitality reviewers to get the inside track on what they're looking for in a stay. The first thing is individuality, because there is so much similarity in commercial uh, accommodation that when you come across a place that has its own aesthetic, its own style of cooking, and its own style of hospitality that comes straight from the owners, then you have somewhere memorable. And the other factor I think that really makes things stand out in Ireland is if, is if you like, when you have a, a, an experience that's intimate. In other words, you get to meet the owners, you're aware that they're concerned about your welfare, concerned that you're having a good time, they're doing their best to make sure you have the best possible time. And when you get those two factors, the individuality and the intimacy, then I think you really get somewhere to stay that is, is really, really memorable. John and his wife Sally have just released their Stay 2015 and Eat 2015 apps, listing their top 100 places to stay and eat in Ireland. But they're not the only awards going around. TripAdvisor recently picked its top 10 Irish hotels, with Harvey's Point in Donegal nabbing top spot for the third year in a row. It's not on the McKenna's list, but it is a family-run hotel that gets the mix of intimacy and individuality right. Another hotel getting that mix spot on is County Derry's Beach Hill House. That's Georgina Campbell's current Hotel of the Year. Now Georgina's Ireland Guide features a wide range of independent food and travel reviews and I asked her where great Irish hospitality begins. Well, I think the very first thing is dealing with people before you even arrive. I think, you know, if you go into their website or speak to them on the phone and you know even before you arrive that you're going to be really welcome and you feel that it's somewhere special. That first impression is super important. The AA's current Hotel of the Year is the Maryborough in Cork, so I asked its secret inspector into studio to explain what he looked for when he first stepped through the door. We would make our initial impressions at reception and reservations, so you can have made your initial impressions before you reach the bedroom. It's the way reservation has been dealt with, whether you've been upsold, whether you've been guided, whether you've been asked directions, or how are you feeling about directions, have you been before? Those little extras that cost absolutely nothing. You need to be anticipating your stay in the hotel. Once you put down the phone, you know that you've made the right decision. Now Georgina, John and our secret AA inspector all have their different approaches, but they all value consistency, dedication and the little details. Even before you get to the front door, it's things like signage. You know, it's, it's amazing how it can spoil an outing if you can't find somewhere easily, especially if the weather's bad and that kind of thing. Uh, so things like fresh flowers, fresh, not dying flowers, and the same with any kind of pot plants and things that are around. You know, a little bit of TLC, things that sh should be shiny, are shiny, no fingerprints, just small things like that that give the tone, set the tone when you arrive, that everything's cared for. I remember staying in a hotel in the Midlands uh, several years ago and when I left it I had a very uneasy feeling because I sort of thought, hang on a minute, that was terrible, that was such an empty experience and I realised when I was driving away that nobody in the hotel actually cared anything about me when I was staying there. They didn't care whether I was having the time of my life or having a terrible time. And I had a terrible time because nobody cared. So it's that sense of being looked after and of people having your welfare that makes Irish hospitality real. The kind of authentic hospitality John's talking about is clearly a unique selling point in Ireland, but it's not a given. It has to be worked on, just like the finer points. Maybe it's a case of the Wi-Fi not being as good as it should be. Maybe it's the TV not being tuned in the way it should be. Maybe, you know, it's, it's all small little things. But uh, when you're at the upper end of, of, the, of the, the, the classification system, you've got to be right at all times. Now speaking of the upper end, overseas awards typically tend to favour Ireland's top end hotels. Condé Nast Traveller recently listed Sheen Falls, Ashford Castle, which you're looking at here, the K Club and Adair Manor amongst its top 10 European resorts. Five stars are an essential part of the picture of course, but it's interesting to note that they haven't been mentioned once by our reviewers. I don't think the best places have to be five star at all. Um, I think a lot of the things that I've just mentioned don't cost any money for a start. We would like to see the guest being wowed in a three star, 
rather than being underwhelmed in a four star? I'm not sure if star ratings really uh, matter very much anymore because you know you could stay in a two star hostel in Ireland and have a fantastic experience and what is important is not how many stars it's got but how well run it is, how good the cooking is, how good the hospitality is. Look at the, the way that you're running your business and see what can I do that is better for the guest. Put the guest first. Always put the, the guest experience first and everything else follows from it. It's nothing to do with how many stars there are. So there you have it. I love the idea of smaller points that cost relatively little, making such a big impact on these most influential reviewers. Because when you think about it, once your expectations are exceeded, stars are almost an afterthought. Remember, whatever star rating you're into, you can book your holidays right here with us on travel.independent.ie. Until next time, safe travels.